Okay, so hi there folks. So in this video, we're going to continue with what we, we are talking about um, that is in the good life. Okay, and we're going to talk about the perspectives of different schools of thought. And we're going to continue with our topics with Stoicism, Theism, and Humanism. So we're done previously with Aristotle in the good life, materialism, and hedonism. So let's proceed. Let's, st let's start first with a Stoicism. Okay, so Stoicism is another school of thought led by Epicurus, the Stoics, exposed the idea that to generate happiness, one must learn to distance oneself and be apathetic, just like this person over here. Okay, so um, for, for Stoics, this person is happy because he or she is distancing herself and she is being apathetic, or he, for that instance. The original term, apatheia, precisely means to be indifferent. This group believe that they can do things at their own and believe happiness can only be attained by careful practice of apathy. So that is for Stoicism. That is how one can have the good life. Okay. Next is Theism. So Theism, okay, most people find the meaning of their lives using God or believing in God or having having faith in God as the fulcrum of their existence. So just like us or the most of most of us. The, the Philippines as a predominant Catholic Christian or Christian country is witness to how people base their life goals on beliefs that tinged on some form of supernatural deity called heaven. A reality rather called heaven and our deity is God or the Trinity. The ultimate basis for happiness for theists is the communion with God. Okay, so most of us believe in this, and then we um, find meaning in our life. We ha we will be having a good life if we believe in God, because um, for us there is hope that there will be something more, or more life after that. Okay, so that's theism. The last part, the last school of thought we're going to talk about in the good life is the humanism. So humanism is another school of thought that espouses the freedom of man to carve his own destiny and to legislate from his own laws, free from the shackles of a god that monitors and controls. So this is um, quite the opposite of what theism, what theism is or theists believe. For humanists, man is literally the captain of his own ship. Okay, there, man is the captain of his own ship. They see themselves not merely as stewards of the creation, but as individuals who are in control of themselves and the world outside them. So, as a result of this motivation of the humanists, scientists eventually turn to technology in order to ease, to ease the difficulties in life. Ease, rather, not ease, sorry. Ease, okay, to, ha to make it easy, rather. To, uh, to ease the difficulties of life. Scientists of the day, meanwhile, are ready to confront more sophisticated attempts to, at altering the world for the benefit of humanity. So actually, some people or scientists are willing to tamper with time and space in the name of technology. So, you know, one of the significant people who did that, the tempered time and space, we all know who that is. So Albert Einstein. Okay, so that's humanism. That is what humanism is all about. So to wrap up this video, um, again we have talked about in the first one, the first video about the about Aristotle and the good life, materialism and hedonism. In this video, we have talked about stoicism, and this is about being empathetic and distancing oneself for us to be happy. Theism is about believing in God and having faith in a God and believing in heaven after death. And humanism is that you know we. Are the captain of our of our our own ships, and we don't get monitored or controlled by some god, okay, but us we have our own laws in ourselves. So we have done okay. We have done uh, the perspectives by different school of thoughts as far as the good life is concerned. So this will be the last part and the end of this video in the good life. So this is again part of my um, playlist in science, technology, and society. So that's it. This is Aristotle over here. Okay, to talk that is one of the first proponent of having what the, or defining what a good life is. So that's it for this video or this two batch of two set of videos. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yes, yeah, so I'll be creating more of this. Okay, thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye.